Hello, aspirants. Welcome to the second series. So, the video series is most expected questions. Part two. Do it, my friend. So, already, we are going to see the video. So, the video is continuation. Now, part two will be done. In a centrifugal pump casing, the flow of water leaving the impeller is it comes. Centrifugal pump only it works on the principle of post water flow. But water leaving the impeller, impeller will take only a very pure water line. Now, not free water flow. So post water is not enough. It's not top level flow. Now, it's not that one the post water is not enough. Now, that one the velocity is directly proportional to radius. So radius in this side, in this side, velocity in this side. That way, free water flow one the conservation of angular momentum will not be. Here velocity is inverse proportional to radius. So radius increase of radius of the retention velocity of the concentrate. So in the one the impulse length will be able to do free water flow. But centrifugal pump will be able to do the flow principle of the first vortex. The principle of flow centrifugal question. A high efficiency pump is required for low discharge, high head and low minimum cost. Delivery of water need not be cut. The pump need not run at high speed. Which one of the following is the correct choice in the case of the pump? So, reciprocating pump is the answer. Reciprocating pump is the answer. This is highly viscous liquid, sir. Lip part of it is used. But, if you have a discharge, it is even. It is fluctuated. So, discharge is less than that. Small discharge is less than that. So, you have low discharge. And, the head is higher. Speed is less than that. So, that is why I mentioned the question. That is why the answer is the reciprocating pump. The centrifugal pump is the opposite. Discharge is less than that. Head is less than that. Speed is less than that. So, this is the centrifugal pump qualities. Let's talk about it. Consider the following statements. First, we will say pumps in series operation. Pumps in series operation allow the head of head to increase. Pumps in series operation increase the flow rate. Pumps in parallel operation increase the flow rate. Pumps in parallel operation allow the head to increase. So, pumps in series are pumps in series. In the first picture, pumps in series are attached to the head. Head to the head. Equal are equal. But the discharge is the same. So, head is equal to h1 plus h2. So, q is constant. This way, pumps are parallel. Head is constant. Discharge flow rate is increased. So, how do we know? Pumps are equal to series. It allows the head to increase. So, a is one option. Pumps series are going to be head one increase are going to be. Pumps parallel are going to be head one. Flow rate are going to be increase. So C another option. Pumps in parallel operation increases the flow rate. So A and C the answer. A kind of pumping arrangement which does not utilize any outside power and uses the principle of water hammer pressures develop when a moving mass of water is suddenly stopped is going to come. So what hammer would be on the principle of use pump is going to be on the pump is going to be on the hydraulic ram pump. So, this is the answer. Hydraulic ram pump is the answer. Hydraulic ram pump is the answer. Water is the external power. This water hammer effect creates water at a higher level. So, that's why this is the question. Next question. In the centrifugal pump, a wheel which is provided with a series of backward curved blades or veins is classified as. So, in the centrifugal pump, the wheel is the name of the wheel. There are backward curved blades. In the wheel, the total wheel would be a name in the wheel. So, in the total wheel would be a name in the total wheel would be a name in the wheel. So, the wheel would be a name in the wheel. So, the wheel would be a name in the wheel. So, the wheel would be a name in the wheel. So, the wheel would be a name in the wheel. So, the wheel would be a name in the wheel. So, the wheel would be a name in the wheel. So, the wheel would be a name in the wheel. So, the wheel would be a name in the wheel. So, the wheel would be a name in the wheel. So, the wheel would be a name in the wheel. The most commonly used pump for lifting water in water supply means this. Water supply means this. Common use पन्द्रह pump बंदे axial flow pump. Axial flow pump बंदे भी ना, नमक normal आ water बंदे inflow इधर उधर दे, discharge में रहते हैं. तो नमक lift पन्द्रह water आप बोला, ठीक है? तो axial flow pump तो इधर का नहीं है. इधर बंदे blades. So the blades of a fast centrifugal pump impeller will be. So general blades बंदे three types रहते हैं. Radial veins, radial ना इधर मारती रहती हूँ. Backward veins, backward ना इधर veins इलामे बंदे pin पकामा तीन बीर को. So तेरी ता इधर मारती pin पकामा तीन बीर क Power means, we will be able to get the power of the power. 
So, backward weights are so backward facing the one the faster centrifugal pump, the efficiency just the other backward pump, so backward weights. So, for stable power consumption, I'm not backward uh, the blades can use for normal centrifugal pumps. So, you can want the backward facing hands. Vertical distribution of velocity in an open channel for laminar flow can be assumed as so laminar flow la vertical distribution is the same. See, vertical distribution one pattern one is my day. So, this is the parabolic. Parabolic dance. This is the vertical distribution of velocity. Now, we have velocity gradient of distribution. We have velocity gradient. In the material, that is the bottom base of the and the bottom of the base. Now, we have velocity distribution. We have the top of the base of the base of the base of the base of the Bottom layer la u ay na, next layer la vandhi u plus du. So, some minimum value vandhi add ay vittay pohu. Next layer vittay pohu, that vandhi add ay vittay So, up layer, uh, main la pohu pohu, that vandhi indice ay vittay pohu. This is the velocity distribution in open channel flow. Laminar flow ka. Adhi vay, in the namam velocity gradient na in the du by dy. Du by dy vandhi namak theriyum, it is proportional to shear stress. So, shear stress variation is the same as the shear stress variation. The shear stress decrease is the same as the tau is state proportional to dq by dq. So, it is the same as the velocity gradient is the shear stress. Dimensions of chassis constant is. So, chassis constant, chassis virtual formula is v is equal to c into root of rs. It is c is the chassis constant. So, c is equal to v by root of rs. P is equal to NI unit meter per second. S is equal to slope. R is equal to meter. So, the port of D is root of M divided by S in value. That is L part 1 by 2. T part minus 1. Answer. Option C. L part 1 by 2. T part minus 1. A flow number of 2 indicates the R. So, flow number is equal to jumps. So, in the ranges in the table, we will know the flow number 1 to 1.7 will be the angular jump, 1.7 to 2.5 will be the big jump, 2.5 to 4.5 oxidating jump, 4.5 to 9 will be the steady jump, more than 9 will be the strong or choppy jump. So, we will have 2 in the range, 1.7 to 2.5. So, that means we will have the answer is the big jump. In an open channel flow, the discharge corresponding to critical depth is the big jump. So, in the open channel flow, the discharge is the critical depth of the discharge. This is the formula root of q square by gd square. So, in the critical flow, there are conditions. The flow number is 1. Specific energy and specific force are the minimum for the given discharge. And specific energy and specific force are given to the discharge is the maximum. Unstable flow is the velocity hit. The hydraulic depth in the channel is half of the velocity hit. Assumptions in the area criteria is the critical flow. So, in the end, in an open channel flow, the discharge corresponding to critical flow. Discharge is the maximum of the problem. Therefore, given specific energy and specific force, discharge is the maximum of the problem. So, discharge will be maximum. The critical depth at a section of a rectangular channel is 1.5 meter. The specific energy at that section is in the area. In the end, we have a rectangular channel. Rectangular channel is equal to T. T by 2, YC, and I get C of learning at the top. Depth, the critical depth. So, in the critical depth, you can see 1.5 meter. 1.5 is a ship on India. This is the rectangle. So, in the same way, triangular is 5 by 2, YC. And parabolic is 4 by 3, YC. This is the values. Now, the next one. The critical state of flow through a channel to a channel section may be defined as the state of flow at which I'm being catered down. So uh, already now it's on a mother critical flow of the knowledge specific energy specific uh, uh, force it will not be under for a given discharge it will not minimum are from other than around for a given specific energy or specific force this charge but the maximum are from so in your option C this charge is maximum for a given specific force specific energy in put alone maximum mother area in a triangular channel section, the most economical section is achieved when sloping side make an angle of dash with the vertical. So, triangular channel is 
அதுல வந்து இந்த ஸ்லோப்பிங் சைடு இருக்கு இல்லையா இந்த சைடுடைய ஆங்கிள் என்னவா இருந்துச்சுன்னா நமக்கு வந்து இந்த மோஸ்ட் எக்கனாமிக்கல் செக்ஷன் ஆயிருக்கு மோஸ்ட் எக்கனாமிக்கல் செக்ஷன் போது அதுக்கு வெட்டட் பெரிமிட் வந்து ரொம்ப மினிமமா இருக்கணும் ஸோ வெட்டட் பெரி ரேடியஸ் பாக்குறாங்க ஹைட்ரானிக் மெயின் ரேடியஸ் ஒரு வேல்யூ வந்து மினிமமா இருக்கணும் ஸோ இதுக்கு வந்து என்ன பண்றாங்க அப்படின்னா இந்த ஸ்லோப் வந்து ஒன் ஒன் எடுத்துக்கிட்டோம் அப்படின்னா நமக்கு வந்து இதை அச்சீவ் பண்ணுவோம் ஸோ ஸ்லோப் ஒன் ஒன் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு நமக்கு என்னாகும் டேன் தீட்டா இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு அப்போசிட் பை அட்ஜஸ்ட் இல்லையா ஸோ அப்போ ஒன் பை ஒன் அப்போ அது எடுத்தீங்கன்னா தீட்டா இஸ் ஈக்வல் டு ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டிகிரி ஸோ ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் டிகிரியில தான் நமக்கு வந்து இந்த மாதிரி மோஸ்ட் எக்கனாமிக்ஷன் கிடைக்கும் டிஸ்சார்ஜ் டு அ சேனல் ஆர் ரெக்டாங்குலர் செக்ஷன் வில் பி மேக்சிமம் இஃப் மேக்சிமம் டிஸ்சார்ஜ் கண்டுபிடிக்கிறதுக்கு வந்து ரெக்டாங்குலர் செக்ஷன் ஆயிடுச்சுன்னா பிஇ சிக்வல் டு டூ இதுதான் கைட்டீரியா ஸோ இங்கே கொடுத்தாங்க பிரெத் இஸ் ட்வைஸ் In the most efficient rectangular channel section, hydraulic radius is equal to. So, rectangular channel section I will share this one. Hydraulic radius or the value one the hydraulic mean radius for m is equal to y0 by 2y. So, half of the depth of the answer. So, other channels come part of the one. Triangular I will share ym is equal to y0 by 2 root 2. And, if you say that, it will be y0 by 2. Half of the depth of flow is in the third column series, rectangular column. Circular is in the chin arm. M is equal to 0.29 times depth of water. When flow's number is equal to unity, the flow in open channel is called critical flow the answer. Already, I have shown the criteria here. So, the flow's number is one arm. Critical flow. For the most economical trapezoidal channel section. Most economical trapezoidal channel section is equal to 1m 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 is equal to kinetic head plus pressure head plus theta head மூணுமே வரும் so kinetic head ங்கிறது v square by 2g and pressure head ங்கிறது வந்து h theta head ங்கிறது z இந்த மூணும் சேர்ந்து தான் specific energy இருக்கும் but open channel ல வந்து theta வந்து sometimes என்ன ஆகும்னா bottom channel ஓட bottom ல தான் theta இருக்கும் அந்த மாதிரி இருக்கும்போது total energy is equal to specific energy வந்து இது ரெண்டும் தான் இருக்கும் theta வந்து channel bottom ஆகும் so இங்க ஆப்ஷன்ல பாருங்க total energy measured with respect to the theta passing through the bottom of the channel so இது தான் answer In an open channel flow, so open channel flow la total energy line in there, from hydraulic gradient line in there, total energy line in there, it is good to go inside of the channel, so this is what we have repeated on the channel, so hydraulic gradient line is in there, it is hydraulic gradient, hydraulic gradient line is in there, you have free surface, so hydraulic gradient line is free surface, hydraulic gradient line is coincides with the free surface, so it is the answer. If D1 and D2 are depths of water upstream and downstream of hydraulic jump in rectangular channel, the loss of head of the jump in and get it. So, loss of head can be predicted from the, we have a formula in the, so, energy loss, loss of head in the, head loss in the energy loss in the, so, that is equal to, loss is equal to, D2 minus D1, the whole cube, by 4 D1 D2. That option, so, the end option of the government, option D. 2 minus d1 the whole cube by 4 d1 t2. This is d1 and the free jump for a depth and d2 is the post jump. Post jump level of depth. Hydraulic jump is a super critical flow. Subcritical flow is a more jump for a sudden jump created in order to reduce the energy of water depth. So, this is a hydraulic jump. Then, free jump is a depth. Post jump is a jump for a depth. So, this depth is a loss. 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 And efficiency of hydraulic jump is the same. Efficiency of the jump is the same. Actual energy loss divided by required energy loss into 100 foot. That is the efficiency. Actual energy loss is the same. Divided by required energy loss into 100 foot. That is the efficiency of the jump. The relationship between Manning's coefficient and Chessie's coefficient is the same. Manning's formula is V is equal to 1 by N R power 2 by 3 S power 1 by 2. Chessie's formula in V is equal to C into root of Rs. So, if you enter your minute to break value in an R, Manning's coefficient in Chessie's coefficient in and a relation in this C is equal to R power 1 by 6 divided by N. R power 1 by 6 by N option B as. Hydraulic radius is equal to N and head cover. Hydraulic radius is equal to area divided by weighted perimeter. 
R is equal to A by P. Yeah. So hydraulic radius is equal to area divided by water by P. The losses in open channel is proportional to losses. Nale na maganda yah fall is equal to G D per one. Yah losses mande yah is proportional to P square in case of open channel. Thank you, experience. So ini ki naamma fluid mechanics ka na most expected question ka thamu. So idhe madhi aarita the subjects ko most expected. So keep watching us and keep learning. Thank you.